14. But yesterday we did end up going back to SeaWorld um, at six, seven o'clock. Um, we ate dinner there and then we got to see the killer whale show and y'all i literally got drenched by the whale like it was it was it was embarrassing like it was just a lot but the water was literally ice cold and it just felt like it was never gonna stop coming so um got drenched by the whale during the show which was i guess a memory to remember forever um, but the lights were really beautiful at SeaWorld. I definitely think that it's something that um, is def definitely going to, um, worth going to if you are looking for something to do with your family, with your friends and things like that because they have like thousands and thousands of lights. So super, super cool. But anywho, we are on the way to eat lunch. We missed breakfast. We woke up, I don't wanna say woke up late, we woke up around 8.39 and uh, went to the gym and then after the gym we um took a shower got ready and then i got some pictures because you know gotta get the pictures and then now we're going to bj's to get lunch so heading to bj's um and after that we're gonna head to the mall to get something for yinka to wear for our anniversary date tomorrow and i think that's really it we don't really have a lot planned for today for the most part but yeah we'll see <laughs> Anniversary day. Two years. Two years in this. Two years in the making. <sighs> the mm -hmm. Ugh, praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. So we had. Oh, it's raining. Okay, I'll update you guys in a little bit because it's raining. All right, so we had breakfast in bed this morning and went shopping yesterday at H&M. Um, they had this beautiful mall strip um, that the resort kind of, I guess, works with or sponsors with or whatever, but very beautiful. Had like so many stores. So we bought um, clothes for today and just some cute items for just, you know, the new year and things like that. Um, we're about to go to the spa. Got breakfast in bed this morning and today's a little rainy. So obviously we won't be able to like you know take all the pictures or whatever but it's nonetheless still a great day this morning we just kind of got to have a moment of reflection on like our marriage and like our growth 
um, every year it seems like we have this like list of things that we kind of get feedback from each other about whether it be marriage needs social emotional intimately things like that so really good evaluation it's just really encouraging to see how far we've come and it just kind of shows us where we want to go in our marriage and as a couple so we're about to head to the spa hopefully this rain is getting harder <laughs> but we're about to head out now so we made it to the spa and y'all it looks so beautiful in here they do give you a pair of slippers to wear and a robe so i'm going to kind of show you guys around just a little bit more before i fully change into the robe so here we have just another area with a kind of jacuzzi-ish pool just to kind of relax it's not a jacuzzi actually it's just a normal temperature pool and then we have this beautiful view and then we have the two sauna rooms so this one is i believe the pink himalayan salt sauna room and y'all it feels heavily in here obviously it was pretty hot um but you know it did feel good and then the other sauna on the other side is the herbal steam room and as, as you can see the steam literally came full force at the camera so yes i do have some cold water in my hand because y'all the heat was real so i did take some time in the himalayan salt um sauna just to kind of decompress and it felt amazing after this i went to go grab a smoothie and it was so good so i just finished um at the steam room and y'all <laughs> the steam y'all i feel like a whole new woman like the steam penetrated my soul like it went deep into my soul and cleansed it like i, I don't even know how to explain it i don't but um yinka's chilling in a jacuzzi and about to go join him um, and then also there's a beautiful infinity pool that I want to show you guys. There's also a gym um, and also some gym equipment out here as well. Um, so it looks really nice. But uh, let me go ahead and join my boo. And I will check in with you guys later. at the spa and this is really good so it has ginger and some other stuff in it that's really yummy so trying to make sure i'm boosting my immunity because corona is still out here y'all um so take care of yourself but i'm about to jump in either the pool is the pool cold babe do you know is it cold the pool is it cold the pool okay so i'm either gonna get in the pool or the jacuzzi I know what the heck <laughs> I feel like I jumped a whole day but I didn't so let me explain so yesterday after we ate lunch 
um, literally fell asleep. I was so tired. We were supposed to have a dinner date for our anniversary, but I was like, you know what? I'm sleepy. We've had a long week. Let's just sleep. <laughs> I don't even feel like waking up. I, I didn't even feel like making up or doing anything, getting dressed, nothing. So we literally, I literally just slept until like five o'clock. And if you know daylight savings, it's like pitch black by 5.30 now. So I was like, well, let's just, whatever, let's just call it a day. And you know, maybe we can do our anniversary dinner like this weekend or another weekend. So that's the plan. We are going to do our anniversary date weekend um, sometime later this month or next month. But yeah, um, we woke up this morning, um, ate breakfast, and then we uh, went ahead and checked out. Now the service at La Cantera is amazing. Everyone is so sweet. Everyone's so just respectful and kind and helpful. And I will definitely be going back because it's so nice. I would 10 out of 10 recommend families, couples, anyone who's just looking for a place to go and really just enjoy and relax. Um, definitely would recommend, especially since like you don't have to travel or fly. It's very much so in Texas can be like a little road trip for you if you do live in Texas. And if you live near Texas, it can also be a road trip for you and your man or your girls or all that good stuff. So, would recommend. Um, we checked out, went to the Alamo, and then we headed back towards Waco. So we got home, our dogs welcomed us. They're always so excited when we come home and it's just the cutest thing. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed recording this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I haven't vlogged in a very long time, so I'm a little like, ugh, about putting this out there. I'm kind of like, is my life boring or is it interesting enough to post? So hopefully you guys found this intriguing or interesting or helpful in some manner, shape or form. Um, let me know your thoughts on this vlog and I will chat with you guys in my next vlog. Feel free to give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you are new here and if you made it to this point of the video. Um, I will chat with you guys later. Bye.